That winter weather, of course, has caused traffic issues across the region yesterday with roadways covered in snow, multiple wrecks and cars stuck in ditches. And now another issue today, the ice. Yeah, and from the road, we've got Leah Johnson in Kingsport, actually stuck in traffic on 26. A lot of issues on 26 today. Leah, how are road conditions near you? Kelly, John, we have been sitting in this car for almost an hour. There is a car that has slid off the road right here on exit six heading towards Kingsport. As of right now, traffic is not moving at all, and they are trying to attempt to tow another car out of the way. Just on our ride up here, we've already seen a couple of different cars on the side of the road, either from sliding or being trapped from not being able to move in the snow. It is definitely pretty slick out here. There's a lot of black ice in the roads. We even have TDOT out here working to control the accident and even the state troopers. As of right now, I-26 exit six is going to be jam packed probably for a little bit longer. We're not even sure if we will be able to get off on exit six whenever the traffic starts to move again. As of right now, Everybody should be very, very safe on the roads. If you can stay at home, definitely do so because it is slick out here and you definitely don't want to be one of these cars on the side of the road getting towed or even just being stuck in this traffic. As of right now, reporting live in Kingsport, back to you, Alex. Thanks, Leah. We're live here in Johnson City. And first, I want to say that we're taking the utmost care to keep our crews safe and don't get on the roads. I can't be more serious than that. It is an absolute ice rink out there. Multiple accidents being reported all over the Tri-Cities area. And why? It's the temperature. Critically, we're sitting at about 23 degrees right now. And in the mid 20s, from my experience, is when we see that perfect amount of temperature drop. Uh, for a glaze of ice and we're getting a very, very light mist. As Jeremy said, that is contact freezing on surfaces and a little bit. We'll show you what that looks like as far as a thin glaze of ice that we're getting accreted on surfaces, but it's very dangerous. Oh, and the wind chill, it's getting down to single digits. So that's also getting dangerous. Don't get on the roads if, unless it's an absolute emergency. Stay home. I cannot stress that enough. It is so dangerous. I-26 is here behind me and you can see very light traffic, which is good to see. But what you can't see is the danger that's out there and that's that glaze of ice that is just sitting right on the surface of the road and it doesn't take much time for that uh, really to accrete on the roads and, and glaze the roads and then you don't have friction between the, your car tires and the road surface. It only takes a little bit to make it very, very dangerous. I cannot stress it enough. It is so dangerous to be out here right now with the glaze of the roads on the ice. Let the crews get out and salt and break up some of the ice. And again, I would just stay off the road completely. Again, that wind chill getting down to single digits now because the Arctic air is coming into town and it's coming with uh, full force here. We'll, we're live here in Johnson City uh, just off of I-26. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio.